a koi pond, kids playground, pool area with jacuzzi and stunning 180 degree views of Johannesburg North are but a few of the incredible features this classic family home in the heart of Bryanston boasts. Sitting on a plot of land just shy of 4,000 square meters and it could all be yours for 10,990,000 rand. So let me take you through a tour of your next best decision. Coming through the rustic wood door, you find yourself in a cozy entrance hall that leads off to one of the three seating areas. This is a house that, out of all the homes we filmed on this channel, just oozes comfort and relaxation with a premium touch that never feels intimidating. The sitting area we're in currently houses a two-way fireplace and has a riverstone feature wall with wrought iron finishes throughout as well as incredible bay windows overlooking your garden. We are now led seamlessly into the informal dining room area and you'll also find the second sitting room. This area is all about light, air and sound with stackable farmhouse doors leading directly onto your pool and patio and a wrought iron chandelier centerpiece making the perfect talking point of this house. The owner of this home told me it has a room for everyone. And this room right here houses a built-in bar with Midwestern finishes throughout, as well as wood rafters running along the ceiling and a seating area that is reminiscent of small town pubs, which makes it the perfect place to drink away a Friday evening with friends. Adjoining the bar area is our formal dining room area, which shares the fireplace with the lounge and opens up onto your koi pond. This formal dining room area, along with the rest of the house, has plenty of space for even the biggest family dinners. If you're buying this house, we're expecting an invite. A hallway leading off to the left of your formal dining room area leads you to two of the six bedrooms within this stunning country home. The first bedroom makes a perfect guest bedroom or even office or play area with plenty of cupboard space and bay windows giving you a perfect overlook of that fantastic koi pond. You can't go fishing there though, naughty naughty. The second of the two bedrooms located in the downstairs area is bigger, more spacious, but also gives you those bay windows that look out not only to the koi pond, but also to your garden area located at the front side of the house. Love the bay windows, love that they incorporate in so many rooms throughout this house because it does bring an original feeling that's very hard to come by within Brian's room. This bedroom as well has an ensuite bathroom with a jacuzzi hot tub, walk-in shower, vanity and extra large mirror with windows built in. There are two guest toilets located on the bottom floor of this home. This one right here has a walk-in shower, vanity and toilet. This is the second bathroom located downstairs, perfectly situated to cater to all of the rooms and designed around a beach theme. It perfectly complements the remainder of the house and the air and light it brings. Now coming through your saloon doors, you'll find yourself in a kitchen that is almost over-equipped. Now I know I've said it before, but with two cooktops, one gas, one electric, three ovens, three sinks, a large breakfast nook that has easy access to your patio, as well as a pantry and plenty, plenty of covered space. This is a kitchen that could easily rival even the best restaurants in the area.
You've got imported black marble countertops with an extractor fan situated right above your electric hob. Now there's light all over this kitchen, both natural as well as your electric lights with down lighting situated everywhere you'd need it. Moving on to our breakfast nook, there's plenty of space here for extra shelving, some of it's built in, and it leads off, as I'd mentioned, to your outside area that includes an outside breakfast nook where you can enjoy the sounds and sights of your garden and the many fountains throughout the land. Coming up to the second floor, you'll find yourself in the third and final reception area. Now this room has so many possibilities and you can really let your imagination go wild with what to do here. And I'll tell you exactly why I feel that way. The first is this wrought iron fireplace. So rare to find two separate fireplaces in one home. And number two is one of the coolest features in this house and that is the windows recess into the vaulted ceiling that you can open up, let this area get flooded with fresh air, lots of natural light. And there's another very quirky feature about this area right here. And that is the window behind me, which lets you look down onto your formal dining room area. Now, there are four bedrooms located on the second floor and we're gonna show you each of them. Come on, let's go. And here we are within the first of the four bedrooms located upstairs. I really hope pink is my color, but how cool is this swinging chair mounted to the ceiling? Now this bedroom has patio access and that patio is a wraparound, so every single bedroom upstairs has access to that patio. This bedroom also has an ensuite bathroom with a freestanding stone tub, shower, double vanity, and the ceiling of this bathroom is really carefully curated with bamboo lining. Now it's very, very cool looking, one that you don't see very often. This house is unique in that all upstairs bedrooms have ample space. There's a lot of room here, so there's a lot of room to do things. One is this bedroom that we're in currently has also space for a study. So thus making them offices perfectly situated for that. Another thing to remember is all of these bedrooms have ample cupboard space, so you're never going to have to worry about where to store your items. Coming out of the bedroom onto this patio is an incredible experience. And this patio is extra length, boardwalk style, and it gives you 180 degree views all the way across four ways, Douglas Dale, down to Cresta and Northcliff Hill. And that view on its own is worth double the asking price. Moving right from the first bedroom we filmed, we find ourselves into the second of the four bedrooms located upstairs. And this bedroom right now is currently made up as an office space which takes perfect use of the views that we currently mentioned. Sitting behind that desk, I don't know how much work you're gonna get done, but this could also serve as a perfect bedroom for a young child. Use your imagination. This house, as I'd mentioned, has got so much space, you're really not gonna be hard pressed to find good use for it. Here we are within the third bedroom. Before we show you the finale, the master suite and this bedroom it's very nice to observe just how big it is again sharing that characteristic with the other bedrooms upstairs it also enjoys that incredible view i cannot get enough of this view i think the owner's gonna have some trouble kicking me out today The bathroom servicing the two middle bedrooms upstairs also has plenty of space. It has a freestanding bathtub as well as a walk-in shower with an extra large vanity mirror and plenty of under-counter storage. Through these white chapel doors, you find yourself within the master bedroom. This is the biggest bedroom out of the four bedrooms located upstairs and it is also, in my opinion, the nicest. It shares that same absolutely breathtaking view across Four Ways and Douglas Dale through its double French doors, but it has a couple of unique aspects. The first is off to my left. That is the ensuite bathroom that is extra special for this master suite. And on my right is the walk-in wardrobe. Let's show you those two things a walk-in closet and your very own walk-in closet located right there in the master bedroom. Take a look at the space that you can all enjoy if you decide to make this purchase yours. 
Now the style doesn't stop when you walk into the ensuite bathroom of the master bedroom. Now this bathroom has a walk through shower, not a walk in shower, but a walk through shower. So if you're in a rush, you're going to use that. But if you're not in a rush, there's an extra large freestanding pebble bath for you to sit down and soak in while you angle your plantation shutters just right to provide you with a perfect amount of privacy. That bath also has a fantastic stone feature wall that I really, really like. Again, going into all the fittings of this house, so much thought has been made into it. There's also a double vanity with two separate wash basins, a big mirror. You can really see yourself in this bathroom and enjoy it. And just off to the right hand side in the corner is a separate toilet. Situated off the house, you'll find yourself a one bedroom, one bathroom cottage and some beautiful puppies. Now this cottage is extra large. This is around about the size of a normal one bedroom house. So you can do with it as you'd like. Either rent it out as an Airbnb, which is what the current owner is doing, or you can turn this into a business. There's also four staff rooms along with their own adjacent bathrooms. So those staff rooms are sandwiched right next to this cottage. You've got plenty of space here to do with it as you may. A lot of businesses could find this perfect usage to create your own practice here. Coming onto the patio, you're greeted by expansive rolling greens, feature fountains and the jacuzzi, all centralized around the pool area. Moving down the lawn, you'll find a kiddies play area, fire pit and your very own pizza oven. If we talk in entertainment areas, we'll be hard pressed to find any in Bryanston that come close to what's on offer here. And that is everything this incredible house in Bryanston has to offer. Now it is retailing for 10,990,000 rand. And if this is a home for you, I'd like you to contact Charlene Negus from First Realty. All of her details are on screen right now and arrange a viewing. So from myself, Chad Riveros, the team at Private Property, and these two pups, thank you so much. And we will see you next time. Not a place, but a feeling. And it'll be hard to feel anything other than utter peace when taken in the breathtaking gardens and pool area of the 7,195,000 rand, three bedroom, four bathroom home in the heart of Bryanston. My name is Chad Viveros and I'll be taking you around South Africa, showing you some of the most spectacular houses that are on sale. And today, I'm taking you with me. Let's go. Coming into this 2,565 square meter home in Bryanston, it's so easy to fall in love with the finishing touches throughout. From the way the wood flooring is laid to the double heighted vaulted ceilings with exposed wooden rafters, it's so easy to mistake this house as a home in the country. Right now we find ourselves within the living room area which has got ample space to accommodate a large family. On my right hand side we have a wrought iron fireplace that must provide so much ambience in the winter time. Off to my left, we have a guest bathroom with walk-in shower, floating toilet with hidden cistern, and large vanity and mirror. There is also super easy access to one of the two garages within the home. But let's take a look right over there in one of the sitting rooms. Let's go. Coming into the sitting room, you have windows on every single wall, letting in tons of light and air. You also have plantation shutters on the opening doors leading onto your floating patio, so that you can sit back, relax, and enjoy that indigenous garden.
coming out of the sitting room area across your dining room area you'll find yourself immediately in your open plan kitchen with varnished wood countertops as well as a five burner gas hob, a DeFi oven and DeFi extractor fan. This kitchen has space to handle even the most demanding of meals. There's ample room within one corner of the kitchen to fit a double door fridge as well as saloon style doors leading into a cozy pantry. Within the main part of the kitchen there is one sink that allows some meal prep but there is a scullery area with a double sink as well as under counter storage for all of your appliances. Now leading out of the scullery is another very very cool feature of this home and that is your very own private herb garden. Talk about farm fresh. So that concludes the downstairs area of this lovely house which means logically we're gonna have to head upstairs but in this house there are two ways to head upstairs. One of them are the stairs. The other one is this very special elevator right here. So while I very apologetically send my cameraman to take those long stairs up to the first floor, you and I are going to go in this. Let's go. Coming out of this incredibly awesome lift, you end up on the first floor landing, or what I like to call the sky bridge, the mini sky bridge. Walking across this leads you into a second seating area that you can use for whatever fits your bill. Could be a pajama lounge, could be another seating area, could be a normal lounge. But off of this landing, you have access to every single one of the three bedrooms within this house. So let's go take a look at the master suite. Walking into the master suite, immediately you'll notice the cupboards being a divider between your bathroom and your bedroom, which is an incredibly ingenious use of space within the room. Out of the three walls, two of them have windows, providing you ample view of that incredible garden and the greenery surrounding it. Coming through the other half of the bedroom, you'll find more floor to ceiling cupboards, as well as access to that master suite. But before we head into the master suite, I'd like you to look up and take a look at those exposed wooden beams bringing that country vibe again to the bedrooms. Now the ensuite bathroom has a walk-in shower, a double vanity with a full length mirror as well as a very interestingly shaped bathtub that I really like and does evoke a feeling of lounging there while looking through that window on the left hand side. It also has a floating toilet with hidden cistern. Coming out of the master bedroom across the mini sky bridge and that awesome elevator leads you into the second of the three bedrooms. This bedroom also has windows on both sides providing you ample access to look at that incredible indigenous garden. It has built in cupboards as well as an ensuite bathroom. That ensuite bathroom again has a floating toilet with a hidden system as well as a walk-in shower with window access which must be incredible to have those early morning showers in. Coming out of the second bedroom and heading off to your right leads you to the last but most certainly not least of the three bedrooms within this house. This bedroom would make a perfect study, office space, playroom or as it is currently third bedroom. It also has an ensuite bathroom with a floating toilet with hidden system, a very very big vanity for you to get ready in the mornings and a walk-in shower with a beautiful view of your driveway and the idyllic street outside. Coming out of the living room area, you find yourself immediately on the double length patio. Up above us, we've got exposed wooden beams with three skylights flooding the area with tons of natural light. Behind me, wrapping around one half of the patio is countertops and the rest of the patio is dominated by 180 degree views of the garden and indigenous flowers throughout.
We also have one of the crowning features in this house and that is the freshwater pool which I'd love to show you next. Let's go take a look. Here we are right back where this video began at the pool area and what a spectacularly unique pool this is. The special thing about this pool is it is naturally filtered. As you can see, the pool's divided in half with one half of the pool acting as a filtration system for the rest of it, which means no HTH, no chemicals, always crystal clear water and you get to experience all of this flora around the left hand side that I feel really brings a sense of nature to something that feels generally so man-made. It is such a unique feature of this house and I love it to bits.